Hello, my friends. The King Catherine, he was the fourth king of the fourth dynasty who built the second pyramid at Giza Plateau. Who believed the statue of the Sphinx belongs to him? The King Catherine, he has one of the most beautiful sculpture in the world. The statue of King Catherine in this video. I'm Hassan Khairi. Welcome to Eye of Mystery Egypt. Welcome back. In the year of 1860 AD, August Mariette founded a statue in the King's Valley Temple, which is adjoining his pyramid at Giza. The statue is about 168 centimeters, while the width is about 57 centimeters and the length is about 96 centimeters. The statue shows the king seated on the throne, aloof and striking a divine pose. He wears the nimbus, the royal headdress. We talked about it in a previous episode, the episode of King Joseph, which you can go back and watch. And also the cobra, which it is one of the symbols of royalty and protection, appears on the forehead. The full spear attached to the chain is another royal symbol. The body is very stylized, showing the king as an idealized man, strong and powerful, with wide shoulders firm body and prominent arms and trousal muscles. The king wears the pleated kilt and carries his seals in his right hand, while the other hand is open and lying over his lap. It was thought that the sun god Ra rose between two lines that protected the horizon. These are symbolized here by the lion heads and bows on the either side of the throne which added to the feeling of strength transmitted by the statue. The representation of the king as the god Ra illustrates his name, ha if ra the rise of the god Ra, inscribed in the cartouche on the throne. The Samatawi symbol on the side of the throne corresponds to the unification of the north and the south of the country. It consists of the session, the lotus flower, symbol of Upper Egypt, and the Waj, the papyrus plant, symbol of Lower Egypt. They tied together as they emerged from human lungs. The lungs represented the notion that the whole country, north and the south, is ruled by the king, who himself gives it the breath of life. The falcon god Horus appears behind the head of the statue, spreading his wings behind the king's head and extending his tail feather over the throne. He thus expresses the protection bestowed on the king and throne of Egypt. In other words, securing the king to the throne. The size of that falcon, which is represented relatively smaller than Catherine, reflects the idea of the divinity of the king. This representation expresses the unity of the Uzairan tree. Horus as the king himself alive on earth. Osiris as the dead king in the hereafter, and Isis symbolizing the throne. This is one of the 23 statues from the King Catherine's Valley Temple, and shows the majesty of the godlike ruler, who is represented with perfection in harmony with his pyramid, which is called Werqa Ephra, the great Ishafra. This outstanding of Catherine is one of the most beautiful examples of the art of ancient Egypt. It's made of durite, quarried in Toshke, which is near to Abu Simbel, which is in the south of Egypt. The sculptures use of this stone, which is harder than marble or granite, suggested the strength of the king himself. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can find me on YouTube and Facebook by the same name. Eye of Mystery Egypt.